didn't the entire history of humankind ever strike you as illogical? The documented history of human civilization is supposed to reach several millennia back into the past. And yet if we consider the rate at which civilization is supposed to have progressed, we encounter periods of obscurity and informational vacuum following the alleged decline of every ancient empire. And then everything starts anew. Inventions are presumed lost for centuries, then reinvented by people whose names bear suspicious semblance to those of the ancient inventors. Just how true all of this is? Could history as we know it really be a collation of several chronicles relating to one and the same period of time? Apparently, this is what the Russian mathematician Anatoly Fomenko claims. He is the author of the first volume in a series of seven that came out in English recently, and generated incredible controversy amongst professional historians worldwide. However, all of his work conforms to the highest academic standards and is backed by solid scientific facts. Furthermore, some of the most lucid minds of our time support many of the theories put forward by the authors. Gary Kasparov, the world chess champion, says the following in his preface to Volume 1. Documented history tells us of the insatiable need of human beings to make discoveries. The vector of technological progress is a strictly vertical one. Every ten years something happens, discoveries, sea voyages, explosions everything keeps on changing, we see constant evolution, from Columbus to the landing on the moon, from crossbows to nuclear bombs. Forwards and upwards. However, the traditional ancient history tells us of periods when humanity apparently remained dormant for centuries. Ancient Egypt, the medieval Dark Ages whole epochs of utter stasis in human thinking. It appears that the inhabitants of ancient Egypt and Rome had a different genetic code, and couldn't be bothered about anything at all, so they froze in their development, the result being a total lack of innovative activity. At the same time, there had been prosperous ancient empires where those among Homo sapiens who possessed pensions for arts and sciences could get plenty of opportunities for growth and development. But, alas and alack, all of the prosperous ancient empires had ceased their development at some point. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. According to the official version of history, Russia remained under the political and military yoke of the Mongols for many centuries on end. The term Mongol is usually assumed to have always meant the same thing, however. This turns out to be incorrect. The modern interpretation is of a relatively recent origin, bear in mind that Mongolia didn't exist as an independent state until the early 20th century. The word Mongol simply meant, Great One. Its association with the nomadic tribes hailing from the steppes north of China is a later invention. But why did it have to be invented? The reason is simple, the actual Mongol conquerors of Russia never existed. The yoke theory was created by the court historians of the new Russian dynasty, the Romanovs. It has served the end of justifying the Romanovs' claims for the throne and demonizing their long-time adversaries, the Horde, or the professional Russian army, which remained fiercely loyal to the old Russian dynasty. Deposed and finally destroyed by the Romanovs as a result of a conspiracy. The savage invaders and torturers of the Russian land that we read about in history textbooks were the protectors of the state in reality. 
and ethnic Slavs for the most part. Small wonder historians still cannot find a single trace of the mythical Mongol capital, no such capital ever existed anywhere near the Gobi Desert. History, fiction or science? Is finally available in English. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.